Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Are you ready for action? Yes, I am ready. Excellent. Good. Let's begin then. Let's begin. Good evening. This is the English for Work program, ENIT, beginner four. Welcome to your English class. Today is Tuesday, September the 26th. This is class seven. The topic for tonight is can and could. Can and could. We'll be talking about ability, availability, requests, Okay, so let's go there. This is the general objective. This is the specific objective. This is the class objective. Participants will be able to ask and answer questions using can and could formally and informally. And this is the agenda for tonight. Review, questions, can and could, requesting help. Review. Okay, but before we go into the class, let's go to the attendance. Let's go to the attendance. Okay. Adán Antonio Ramírez. Blanca del Carmen Santos. Carlos Amilcar Campos. Cecilia Maribel Alemán. Daniel. Present. Excellent. Daniel Enrique Sifontes. Present. Excellent. Edgar Edils Edilson Reyes. Edwin Alexis Perez. Edwin Alfredo Alcón. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo. Gabriela Yamilez Ramírez. Gisela Guadalupe Martínez. Gladys Rubidia Nieto. Jonathan Stanley Perez. Present teacher. Present. Good evening. Excellent. Good evening. And Gladys. I imagine that it was Gladys trying to connect. Okay. Let's see. Jose Daniel Cermeño. Jose Ernesto Alemán. Andy Natalia Sanchez. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla, or Quintanilla, mm -hmm. eh, Mario Germán González, and Mauricio Antonio Rivera, Miguel Ángel Cortés. I'm here. Excellent. Nice, Miguelito. That's good. Noé Aníbal González. Excellent. Nice. And Sergio Adolfo Hernández. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask you two things before we begin. Number one, please minimize minimize the ambient noise. Okay, if people are talking near you, ask them to speak quietly. If you are watching TV at the same time with the class. Try to put the captions so that you can read and watch the TV as you're, you're in class so that the sound doesn't come. 
because the sound interrupts the class. And the other thing that I would like to ask you is to go into the groups and participate. This is your class, so I encourage you to participate so you may learn a lot, okay? Remember, practice makes perfect. So if you go to the groups and you practice with your friends, you will learn. But if you stay outside, keep quiet, you will be quiet all your life. You will not learn. Remember, making mistakes is normal. But as long as you make the mistakes and later you correct things, right? So you are very smart and you can do everything that we need to do. And little by little, we're going to be learned. So please connect, okay? Let's see, let's begin. Warm up, review. Okay, yesterday we didn't have enough time to work on these things, okay? So tonight, as an introduction, we're going to be practicing for some time, okay, as much as we can. Then we're going to go into the principal topic, okay? So the first conversation, remember the singular and the plural forms. I'm going to underline the, the, the aspects that make this singular, okay? These aspects are part of the singular form, okay? These elements, yesterday I told you that when you say the red one, you are saying la roja the blue one, la azul, okay? So that is the way you say, the blue one, okay? So, and then you have this one. All of these aspects make it, okay, singular, right? The words one, it's all of these, make it the singular one, okay? For the plural ones, we have things like this, ones, the black ones, okay? The blue ones, good evening. good evening. Welcome on board. And of course, we have the black ones again. And for the price, they are 72. Singular, it's $32. Plural, they are $72, okay? And uh, remember that one is for singular, once is for plural. Once, you say teacher, but once is talking about one. In this case, it's a replacer, or it's a pronoun. For that reason, no. In this case, when you say the blue ones, las azules, the red ones, Las Rojas, okay? In that case, that's the meaning. That's why you use ones, okay? Some, uh, like in Spanish too. Maybe you remember that you say unas rojas, otras black, okay? So unas rojas. And you're talking about plural, okay? You're not talking about one, okay? So that's the idea. All right, let's see. Excuse me, how much is this shirt? Which one? The blue one or the red one? The blue one, it's $35. And the red one, it's $32. I'll take the blue one. Okay, that will be $35. Here you are. Thank you. You're welcome. For the plural, excuse me, how much are those jeans? Which ones? The blue ones or the black ones? The blue ones, they are $65. And the black ones, they are $72. I'll take the blue ones. Okay, that will be $65. Here you are. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, remember that we have the blue ones. The blue ones? No, the blue ones. 
the black ones, the blue one, the black one. How much is that shirt? How much is this blouse? How much are those pants? How much are those jeans? Okay, so this is for near, see that you have here for near, okay, you have this one indicates near, right? And this one indicates far. So near and far, you have both there. Okay. near and far, okay? So we're going to go and practice with these ones. Blue, okay, the blouse. In this case, we use this blouse, okay? The white one, the red one, okay? This $12, $15. Those jeans, the blue ones, the black ones, $50, $60. That jacket, the black one, the brown one, $100, $150. These socks, the blue ones, the black ones, $3, $4. The tie, that tie, the red one, the blue one, etc. So this singular, these plural, that singular, those plural, okay? So let's go and practice this, these conversations with this information, all right? Let's go there. Let's see how many people are present right now, okay? I'm going to give you 20 minutes to practice these conversations. Okay, let's see. Three groups, the groups are opening. Please join and practice, okay? Good luck. Okay, in group one, we're missing Cecilia. In group two, we're missing Mario. In group three, we're missing Jose Alemán and Edwin Perez. Okay, please go to the groups and let's pray. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Um, Sergio. Can you hear me, Sergio? Yes. Um, es la hora en la que pasan los, los trailers. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, and also Sergio maybe the television. Okay. And uh, Okay. All right, you may practice. Someone may share the screen and you may begin practice. Uh, me? Okay, in singular conversation? Yes, singular okay. conversation. Okay. With... Uh, With the next screen, right? Uh-huh. In the first teacher, no, is the conversation, the first the, time. Yes, the conversation 
you substitute this information in the conversation. Mm -hmm. But after change the conversation. Yes, you have A, B, C, D, you, you will be changing conversation. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you want, you can put the conversation here next to it. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Ready. Okay. You are letter B or A? A B. Okay, okay. Excuse me, how much is this shirt? Which one? The blue one? Or the red one? The blue one. It's uh, $35. And the red one? It's $32. I will take the blue one. Okay, that will be $35. Here you are. Thank you. You're welcome. And now in plural. Okay. You, oh. you start. Oh. Okay, I start. Okay. Excuse me, excuse me. How much are those jeans? Which ones? The blue ones or the black ones? The blue the blue ones. They are Este, bájelo, compañero. No, 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 para abajo, ya para ver la, las que tenemos que. Richard, íbamos a completar las oraciones, ¿verdad? <risa> Sorry, I don't understand what. What sentences? I, <laughs> I have to complete the sentence. Using this and that? No, you have to create new conversations using this information. I have to create. create okay, create. this is. This we is, have to create. We have this to is create. the conversation. So you have to create conversations with this one. Like you have blouse, white, 12, red, and 15. So you say, um, good, excuse me, how much is that? Is this blouse? Because it's down. Yes. Is this blouse? Which one? The white one or the red one? Um, the white one, it's $12. And the red one, it's $15. I'll take the white one. Okay, that will be $12. Here you are. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, that's what you have to do. Create okay. a new a conversation using this information in this way. This is the model. This is the exam. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you have for the plural one <laughs> jeans those jeans excuse me how much are those jeans and it's the same one right how much are those jeans which ones the blue ones or the black ones they say uh, the blue ones they're $50 and the black ones they're $60 I'll take the blue ones. Okay, that will be $50. Here you are. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. That's what you have to do. Okay. Who wants to do with me? The conversation. Okay. Can I start? Yes. Okay. Um, 
Excuse me. How much is this tie? Uh, which one? The blue one or, or the red one? The blue? The blue. blue. The blue one. The blue one. The blue one. It's, it's, 30, it's 35 dollars. No, partner. Uh, in this case, it's, uh, in the sentence, say $22. Mm -hmm. $22. Okay. Which one? And, do you uh, and you and the red one. Me, it's at $32. Um, letter. Aniva, uh, letter Aniva, she no. asked. She asked you about the tie. The okay. tie is letter E. Is red and blue. Red ten dollars. Blue twelve dollars. Sorry, teacher. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> Begin again. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's begin. Let's begin. <laughs> Excuse me, how much is this tie? Uh, which one? Uh, the blue one or the red one? Uh -huh, the the, the red blue one, one or the blue one? Uh -huh. Red, blue, red one. Okay. The blue one. Uh, it's a... Uh, well done. The blue, the blue, the blue is one. Yes, yes. Uh, X uh, twelve dollars. And the red one? X it's ten dollars. I'll take the blue one. The blue one. Mm -hmm. Okay, that 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 will be uh, ten dollars. Twelve. The blue one is twelve. Here you are. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay. The blue one is $12. I'll take the blue one. And you say, ah, that would be $12. But because it's you, $10. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. All right. Continue practicing. Excellent. That's good. Thanks. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, okay. How, how much are, are, those, are those jeans? Um, sorry, thanks. Those thanks. <laughs> okay, wait. Which ones? The black, the black ones, or the or the blue ones? Uh, the blue ones. There. Uh, 70, 70, I don't remember. Five. Uh, is 75, $75. Uh, and the black ones? 65. The blue one or the black one? Uh, the blue ones? They they three dollar and the black ones they four dollar. I'll take the blue ones. Okay, that will be three dollar. Uh, here you are. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Next. Tai is plural. No, tai is singular. Tai is singular. 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 
that tie. Tie red, ten dollars, blue, twelve dollars. Okay. Okay. Daniel, excuse me, how much is this tie? It's that tie. That, that tie. tie. Oh. How much is that tie? That Which tie? one? How much? Okay. Which one? Um, the red, red one or the red one or the blue. blue one? The red one or the blue one? The red one. It's uh, ten dollars. And the blue one? It's twelve dollars. I take the red. Okay, that will be ten dollars. Here you are. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, pants. Pants. Plural. Okay. Start. Okay. Excuse me. How much are those pants? Which one? The black pants. Podemos escoger en, por ejemplo, un singular y un plural. Así entendería yo. Okay. Pero solamente voy a ir modificando eso. Ajá. Solo, Ajá. solo los precios y el tipo de artículo. Así como, así como lo, lo, lo fui leyendo. Sí. Eh, tal vez es eh, Carlos, si sorry, quiere, comenzamos. Sorry, Edwin, the complete conversation. It's not by article, by article. Uh -huh, yeah, but it's a complete conversation. Yes, you have... complete. For example, I, I tell to my partners that... Um, the conversation with a uh, art, art article in singular and they have uh -huh. they got they the go conversation like a, only B, only C, change B. yes mm -hmm. only change the color and the price in the article yeah okay and whether it's singular or plural okay Entonces okay. hagamos la opción I. I, ok. I, the option I. Eso no es más caro. <laughs> I or E. I. I or, or jacket. E. Or jacket o watch. I. <laughs> the option I. Ok. Uh, the idea, aló, señores. The idea mm -hmm. is that you do them in order, A, B, C, D, E, and that you practice as many as possible. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the idea. Yes. Okay. Okay, uh, Carlos. Sí. Maybe, okay. Excuse me, how much is this blues? Blouse? Which one? Blouse. The white one or the red one? The... That will be sixty-five dollars. Here you are. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Jonathan, sweater, bro. Okay, okay, sweater. Yes. Um, excuse me, how much is this? Is this weather? Which one? This sweater? This, this sweater. sweater? This sweater? Which one? Uh, the black one or the blue one? The blue one. The blue one, $70. The blue one. The blue one? It's 70. It's 70. 70. Mm -hmm. And the black one? It's 60. It's $60. Mm -hmm. 
uh, I take the black one. Okay, that will be $60. Here you are. Thank you. You're welcome. Excellent. Watch. That watch. That watch. Watch. <clears throat> okay. Is yes, singular? Uh, yes, singular. Yeah. Singular. Excuse me. How much is this watch? It's that watch. That watch. That watch. Which one? The golden one or the silver one? The golden one. It's one hundred fifty dollars. And the silver one? It's one hundred fifty twenty-five dollars. I'll take the golden one. Okay, that will be one hundred fifty dollars. Here you are. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, choose plural one. Plural. Okay. okay. Excuse me. Oh, okay. Excuse me. How much are those shoes? Which one? The black ones or the brown brown ones? The black ones. Uh, they're one hundred dollars. And the brown ones? $125. Uh, I take the black one. Okay, that will be $100. Here you are. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, excellent. Now let's go back to the main room. Okay. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Good Thank job. You. Very sure. good. Yes. There are 11 people out. Everybody's out. Okay, excellent. I understand uh, that there are difficulties because plural, singular, this, that, it's, there. Uh -huh. It's it's difficult, okay? So don't worry. The important thing is that you try, that you try to do it. If it, if it was not the best, doesn't matter, no problem. Practice in your house, little by little, little by little. Don't give up, just don't give up. Continue, 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 then you can do it. <clears throat> Let's move on. So, <clears throat> but just one thing. Uh, the pronunciation of the words. Again, we have uh, this, that, 
these those okay and for these ones we have it and for these ones we have there okay it and there how much is this blouse it how much is that blouse it how much are these blouses or how much are these jeans there how much are those pants there if okay, so you have like this Okay, let's get to the next next topic. Now we're going to get to questions. So we're going to be asking about products. Say, for example, we're asking about this computer. So what's this? It's a computer, right? It's a laptop computer. Lap, top, computer. Then you say, what, why a laptop computer? When you sit down, when you sit down, let me show you. You sit down, okay, you say that you are sitting on a chair okay and you're sitting down here okay you have your computer here okay that's why it's called laptop computer because it's on your lap when you fold this part is called lap if you look in the dictionary you will have like it has many meanings but when it talks about a computer it refers to this part that we have here that we use as a table for the laptop, right? We put it on our legs, on our legs to use it. So that's why it's called laptop. All right, so what's this? It's a laptop computer. How much is this computer? It's $500. How much is that blouse? Now you're asking about A blouse, and then you say, "How much is that blouse?" It's twenty dollars. How much are these jeans? They are fifty dollars. How much are those shoes over there? They are ninety-five dollars. They are ninety-five dollars. So. That blouse, it's this computer, it's how much are these jeans? They are, how much are those shoes? They are, okay, that's to remember this singular, that singular, these plural, those plural. For this, it's for plural, there, okay? For singular, it's for plural, there. Okay, 
check over here. We have uh, questions about products. You, I mean, they sell in your work. How much is it? What time do you open? What time of, or what type of material do the children need? What products are on stack? How much electricity does the refrigerator use? Is there a discount? What products are there on sale? This would be the questions. Check this refrigerator, okay? How much is this refrigerator? And then you say, how big is it? How expensive is this, is this refrigerator, okay? How much can I pay monthly for it? So that would be another question, okay? Let's see, using can and could, we have, can you give me my, my person, I can give you my personal information. She can't pay for the washer right now. Can I have your credit card number? Can you tell me how many items you need? You could try with another credit card. They couldn't give you my billing address. Could you spell your last name? Could we check the details of my order? Okay, these are the questions that we have in the book, okay? We're going to have an introduction to that, okay? So that we may not be lost. Okay, let's begin. When we finish, I'm going to send you this. Okay, this board. So we have can. You remember that with can, we use ability. Okay, maybe you remember. Do you remember that we use it for ability? What things can you do? Can you cook? Can you drive? Can you run very fast? Can you use a calculator? Can you use a computer? So those are abilities, abilities. Can you swim, right? Can you cook? So then, but then you have availability. Somebody says, teacher, availability. Yeah. If you have free time, if you are not working, and then you have time, like your girlfriend asks you, can I see you tonight? Can I see you tonight? That question is about availability. The question is, do you have time to see me tonight? Do you have time to see me tonight? Can I see you tonight? The same meaning, right? So availability, disponibility, availability. Can I see you tomorrow? So, okay, I'm going to give you examples with those. The other is possibility. Possibility. The last one is permission. Permission. Okay. The two can and could use the same. Okay. But I'm going to explain how we use each ability. I can dance. I can sing, I can cook, for the other, for the availability, can I
Can I see you tonight? Can we meet later today? Or can we meet later today? What's the meaning? Do you have time? Do you have time to meet with me later? Okay. Uh, that is an availability. Availability. Disponibilidad. Availability. Then possibility. Maybe something can happen, something cannot happen. Okay. Like um, you say, look at those clouds. Can they be rain? Can they be rain? And you say, no. No, they can't be rain. No, they can't be rain. They can be wind. So possibility. And the last one, permission. Mom, can I go out for an hour? Mom, can I go out for an hour? And your mom asks you, where are you going? Um, I'm going to see a friend. And then your mom says, she gives you permission. Yeah, you can go. Or your mom doesn't give you permission. He says, no, you can't. You can't go. And go, right? So permission. Mom, can I go out for an hour? Yes. You can. But be back early. Yes, you can, but be back early. So here you have ability, availability, possibility, and permission. Then we have could. Could. With could, we have past ability. People could do a lot of things, right? So remember, all here things are Past. So, past ability. And then you say, B. For B, we have requests. And for C, permission. Well, we have possibility and the same permission. Stop me if you have a question. If you have a question, don't worry, you stop me. Okay. The permission is permission with a condition. Okay, so you have like ability. People could go by bus. Okay, people could go by bus until 11 p.m. in the past. I remember that. 
I think that most of you are very young. You don't remember, but I remember when we could uh, take the buses at 11 p.m. Do you remember? Don Daniel remembers. When we could, we could go by bus until 11 p.m. and no problem, right? Then we had problems and we couldn't go by bus at that time. Request. A request is a question asking for help or asking for a favor. Could you do me a favor? Could you do me a favor? Could you get me some water? Could you get me some water, please? Could you get me some water, please? Possibility. My car won't start. And someone says, it could be the alternator. Could be the alternator, or it could be the solenoid, right? So, possibility. Permission. My mom said that I could go with you. My mom said that I could go with it. Okay, you also make suggestions with could. Suggestions. You could ask for help. You could ask for help. You could um, take a taxi. You could take a taxi, something like this, okay? This would be the generalities, okay? For you to have an idea. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to send you a capture of this screenshot. What's up? Okay, you have it in the WhatsApp. Okay. So let's continue. Let's check uh, uh, ability. These are some of the examples that I want you to see in your house, okay? I can sing, but I can't dance. We, can, we can't run, but we can walk long distances, etc. So we're not going to read them, but you have them, study them in your house. Now requests, can I open the door? Sure, not a problem or no problem. I prefer not, okay? Could I talk to you for a minute? Of course. Can I help you? Yes, please. No, thanks. I'm just watching. Can I help you? Could you please help me with my homework? Sure, no problem. Sorry, I can't. 
and busy. Those are requests. Requests are questions asking for favors, okay, for help. All right. We're going to be practicing this in a moment, so don't worry. Let me see. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Thank you so much for calling, Linda. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you get me some information about the Pro Washer? Of course. It has a capacity of 5.2 CU FT, a turbo processor, and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? Uh, I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is for a year. Okay. So 5.2 cubic feet. This one, CU, is cubic feet, so I'm going to write it complete. Normally, you write it more like this. The notation is more like... Oops. Okay. It except that the last part goes more like, let me see, not just, I remember how to do it. So something like this, feet cubic, why cubic? I'm going to just mention it quickly like this. Change the color to say like this, like this. We have the okay, we have here the three dimensions. This dimension this dimension, this dimension, right? So three times, that's why we have here, here we have three, because we have this, this, and this. But don't worry, I'm not going to bother you with that. Okay. <clears throat> what do we use in our country? Meters, meters, 5.2 meters square, I mean, or cubic meters. Meters, yeah. Change, you see. Meters would be like this. Uh, no. Let's see. Cubic meter, or well, in that case, because we're talking about here metric or metric uh, things oh well i don't want to overwhelm you with that let me see so let's practice so here is cubic feet i'll write it here cubic feet cubic feet Okay, then you say, thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the Pro Washer? Of course. It has a capacity of 5.2 cubic feet, a turbo processor, and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is for a year. 
normally we would say its warranty, its warranty is for over a year, for over a year. Okay, there'll be more natural things. Its warranty is for over a year. Its warranty is for over a year. So we'll say like this. Can you give me information about the warranty? Okay, thanks. Its warranty is for over a year. Okay, last time. Thanks, thanks so much for calling. Linda speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda, could you give me some information about the Pro Washer? Of course, it has a capacity of 5.2 cubic feet, a turbo processor, and an intelligent keyboard. I see, can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry, could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks, its warranty is for over a year. Okay, so that would be the the conversation. Okay. Let's do you have any questions about the conversation? What is the meaning keyboard? Okay. Keyboard. keyboard. I'm going to show you my keyboard. Let me see if I can show you my keyboard. My keyboard. Can you see it? Keyboard. Keyboard. You saw it? Okay. And you will say, teacher, but this is a washing machine. Yeah, washing machine. But it depends on the model, but on the top, on the top, there is a small plate. In this one, there is a keyboard that is digital. You touch it and you program the washer like that, the washing machine. Okay. Any other question? No teaching. No question. Okay. Let's go and practice the conversation. If you want, I send you a picture. But well, you have the presentation, so let's do it. Okay, the groups are opening. Please join. In group one, we have Edwin Perez, Cecilia Alemán, and Edgar. Please join the group. The other two groups are complete. Only group one is not complete. Please join. There are only three people. Well, four. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Uh, hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the Pro Washer? Of course. It has a capacity of 5.2 cubic feet, a turbo processor, and an intelligent keyboard. I see. 
Can you give me information about the war warranty? I'm sorry, could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thank you. The warranty of its is for a year. Okay, thank you. Okay, Edgar, you start? Hello. Okay. Thanks so much for calling. Edgar is speaking. How, how can I help you? Hi, hi Linda. Could you give me some, some one information about the pro washer? Of course, it has a capacity of 5.2 cubic feet, a turbo processor, and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Can you repeat it, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is for a year. Okay, thank you. Information about the warranty. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Um. Es que mi computadora es, esa parte la tiene manchada, pero ahorita okay. aquí la tengo. Lo voy a hacer para arriba. Do ah, okay. <laughs> Thanks. The warranty of it is for a year. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Someone else can practice this conversation. Okay. Eh, Mario, Mario eh, eh, Mauricio, podrían intentar, no sé si tienen Mauricio, disponibilidad. Hola. Ok, Mauricio, eh, quiere ser linda. Ok, thanks so, thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the Pro Washer? Of course. It's, it has a, a capacity of 5.2 cubic feet, a turbo processor, and an intelligent cable. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat the, that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Mm, thanks. The warranty of it is for a year. Thank you. Thank you. Could you? Could you? Can you? <laughs> okay. Carlos, ¿quiere practicar? Ok, está bien. Hoy soy linda. Ok. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, someone else? Someone else? Next, next. Hello. 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 Again. Comienzo, si gusta. No sé quién más está disponible ahorita. Me, me, Aníbal. Okay. 
Sensu, thank you so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information information about the Pro washer? Of course. It has a capacity of 5.2 cubic feet a turbo processor and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thank you. It's warranty. It's for over a year. OK, thank, thank you. you. Excellent. Good job. Let's okay. go back to the main group. Main group. Thank you. Good job. Next. Okay, everybody's out. Let's see. Now, my friends, let's answer the question. What does one want to buy? Why uh, Pro Watcher? Mm -hmm. Machine. He wants to buy a washing machine. And the brand is Pro Washer. Mm -hmm. Like um, when you want to buy a television and they tell you it's Sony or it's uh, Samsung or it's LG, right? So that would be the Pro Washer. What question can you say instead of repeat? Repeat. <laughs> what do you? What can you say? Can you Is... give me information about the warranty? Excellent. Uh -huh. Yeah. Can you give me information about the warranty? Now, what's the difference between could you give me information about the warranty or can you give me information about the warranty? What's the difference <clears throat> besides the obvious? <clears throat> Sorry. Normally, normally when you say, could you give me, you are being polite. When are you most polite? When uh, the people are strangers, right? You don't know the people. They are not your friends. They are customers. So you say, could you please? You are polite. You are nice. You are nice. You are polite. Could you please? But if they are your friends and you, Hey, can you get me some water? Because he's a friend, right? Can you get me some coffee? Someone says, I'm going to the cafeteria. Oh, can you get me some coffee? Sure, no problem. Okay, or if it's your boss, it depends on the relationship with your boss. And it also depends on the age of your boss. Sometimes the boss is the same age. So you say, sorry boss, can you do me a favor? 
can you do me a favor? Because he's the boss, maybe the boss is your friend. Even though it's a boss, you have a lot of confidence. But if the boss is old, is an old person, and there is a distance, a social distance, not because of COVID, but there is a social distance with him. So you say, could you? Could you, sorry boss, could you do me a favor? Could you do me a favor? That is very polite. Polite means nice. Polite. Could is polite. Can is ordinary. Okay. Let's see the next one. Are the are the customer and the agent polite or impolite? Check the conversation again. Juan says, can you give me? And Linda says, could you repeat that, please? Who is polite? Who is polite? Linda. Linda is polite. Linda is polite. And who is not polite? Juan. Juan. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So in the answer, we can say, one isn't polite, but Linda is. Why, why is one impolite and why is Linda polite? Because Linda is working, right? Linda is working. And so Linda is polite. Linda asks the questions, could you, could you? And Juan asks, can you? Um, just a small comment. When we go to a restaurant, don't look at the waiters over the shoulder and don't say, hey, you, come here. Do this, do the other. No. They are at work. They have to be polite. But we must respect them right? Because they are human beings like we are. So we say, sorry, waiter, could you please, right? We are nice. And we say, thank you. Thank you. Okay? So please and thank you because we have to be polite. All right. Excellent. Now that we did this, we're going to continue. Look, what do you think happened here? In the picture at the right, what happened? Accident. It was an accident. It, it, the person in here could be, could be dead or could be seriously injured, right? Okay, why do you think they are removing the doors? Why are, are they removing the doors? Because a person is trapped inside, right? Okay, look at this child. This child is crying. Why do you think he could be crying? Why could he be crying? The family has had the accident, teacher. Uh -huh. Maybe this child knows that his family had the accident. Mm -hmm. It could be that he knows. Mm -hmm. Exactly. 
right? He could be sad. He could be crying because he's sad about his family. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Now let's see. We're going before we do this one that we need to come back to this. We have to do it. And this one too. We're going to practice this conversation. And then we're going to practice could, right? But we're going to answer this with say like this. Okay, first, first the conversation. Good afternoon, Rose's Furniture. How can I help you? Good afternoon. Could you give me some information about your furniture? Sure, what would you like to know? Do you sell dining room tables? Yes, we do. What size do you need? A small one. We need one for four people. Would you like it round or square? Square, please. Wooden, if you have, please. Uh, could you tell me how much is one? We have some in different prices, starting at $60. Could I stop by tomorrow to see one? Sure, we are open all day. Okay, thanks. I'll be there in the morning. We'll be waiting for you. Have a nice day. Again, good afternoon, Rose's Furniture. How can I help you? Good afternoon. Could you give me some information about your furniture? Sure. What would you like to know? Do you sell dining room tables? Yes, we do. What size do you need? A small one. We need one for four people. Would you like it round or square? Square, please. Wooden? Oh, wooden if you have if you have this. Could you tell me how much is one? We have some in different prices, starting at $60. Could I stop by tomorrow to see one? Sure, we are open all day. Okay, thanks. I'll be there in the morning. We'll be waiting for you. Have a nice day. Okay, so this is the question. Now, furniture, fur furniture. What furniture? Furniture is tables, chairs, sofas, armchairs. Okay. Those are those are that's furniture. Okay. Any questions? No question. Round. Square, round, square, round, square. Okay, so let's. Any other question that you may have? Stop by. Sorry. Wooden. 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 Okay. Wooden is made of wood. But you say, teacher, what is wood? Okay. Let me, let me see if I can show you what is wood. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look at this object that the, this box that they are carrying. This is what? Wood. Here. This one is wood. Yeah. Let me see if I find uh, any other thing that is made of wood so that I can show you. Is como un taco de madera. Uh, no, only wood. This is made of wood. Look. Mm. Wood. This is wood. Yeah. This is wood. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
In in wooden. Wooden is made of wood. Made mm -hmm. of wood. Mm -hmm. This is a wooden table. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wooden table. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let's go to to practice the conversation. If there are no more questions. Okay. So. The groups are opening. Please join. In number three, we're missing Gisela. In number two, Mauricio and Esmeralda. In number one is complete. Okay. Who will start? Uh, me. Okay. Good afternoon, Ro Rose Furniture. How can I help you? <laughs> Good afternoon. Could you give me some information about your furniture? Sure. What would you like to know? Do you, do you sell dining room table? Yes, we do. What size do you need? Uh, a small one. We need one for four people. Would you like a round or a square? A square, please. Wooden, if you have, please. Could you tell me how much is one? We have some in different prices, prices starting at sixty dollars. Could I could I stop by tomorrow to see it one? Sure, we are open all day. Okay, thank you. Thanks. I be there in the morning. Well, be waiting for you. Have a nice day. Okay, thank you, Sergio. <clears throat> okay. Good afternoon, Rose Furniture. How can I help you? Good afternoon. Can you give me some some more information about your furniture? Sure. What um, would you like to know? Do you sell different room chains? Yes, we do. What size do you need? Can I help you? Good afternoon. Could you give me some information about your furniture? Sure. What would you what would you like to know? Do you sell dining room tables? Yes, we do. What size do you need? A small one. We need one for four people. Would would you like around or square? Squared, please. Put him if you have, please. Could 
could you tell me how much is one? We have some in different price starting at uh, 16.50 dollars. Could I stop by tomorrow to see one? Sure, we are open all day. Allah. Okay, thanks. Allah. I'll be there in the morning. What would you like to know? Uh, do you sell dining room tables? Yes, we do. What size do you need? A small one. We need one for four people. Would you like it round or square? Square it. Uh, please, wouldn't if you if you have please. Could could you tell me how much it's one? We have some in different price. Starting at uh, $60. Could I start by tomorrow to see one? Sure, we are open all oh, day. Thanks. I'll be there in the morning. We'll be waiting for you. Thank you. Have uh, a nice day. Excellent. Good job. Has everybody finished practicing? All right. Then let's go to the main room. Okay. Someone else? Let us pretend these are some questions. Okay, what questions, what answers can we give them? Could you please help me here? You may answer. Sure. What can I do for you? Sure. What can I do for you? And in this one, could you give me some information about the TV, please? You may answer. Gladly, gladly, gladly. What is gladly? I'll be happy to, I'll be happy to, gladly. Could you come tomorrow? Sure, no problem. Sure, no problem. Could you tell me the price? Of course. It's sixty-five 
is $65. Could you show me a different model? Of course. Come with me. Okay, of course. Please come with me. Could you show me a different model? Of course. Please come with me. Could you tell me how I can apply for credit? Gladly. Could, could I pay by credit card? Sure, no problem. Could you please explain this to me? Of course. Gladly. Could you tell me about the warranty? Sure. It lasts a year. Sure, it lasts a year. Can I ask you a few questions about the product? Sure. Please go ahead. Please go ahead. Okay, again, some of the questions can be, could you please help me here? Sure, what can I do for you? Could you give me some information about the TV, please? Gladly. Could you come tomorrow? Sure, no problem. Could you tell me the price? Of course, it's $65. Could you show me a different model? Of course, please come with me. Could you tell me how I can apply for credit? Gladly. Could I pay by credit card? Sure, no problem. Could you please explain this to me? Of course, gladly. Could you please, or could you tell me about the warranty? Sure. It lasts a year. Can I ask you a few questions about the product? Sure, please go ahead. Okay. So this would be the questions. Okay, I would like you to practice with a partner. One is A, the other is B, okay? A, question. B, answer, okay? Person number one says, could you please help me here? Person number two yes. says, sure. What can I do for you? Okay, Gabby? I you... want to do it. Excellent. Could you give me some information about the TV, please? Gladly. 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 Mm -hmm. Don Jose Ernesto Lemán, could you come tomorrow? Microphone? Maybe the microphone, don, don Jose Ernesto. <laughs> okay. Aníbal. Okay. Don Aníbal, tell me. Could you tell me the price? Of course. It's, it's $65. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So that's what you have to do. Practice, one makes the question, the other makes the answer. So the pronunciation, 
You can say, could you? Or you can say, could you? Could you, could you, right? Let's say, could you this time? Okay, could you please help me here? Could you give me, could you come? Could you tell me, could you show me? Okay, so let's, let's go to the groups and let's practice asking and answering the question. Let's do it in the groups. The groups are opening. Group one has only four people and group three has seven people. So I'm going to move one person to group one. Sergio is in group one and Esmeralda del Rosario is in group two. Gladys is in group three. <clears throat> what is life? Teacher, we don't have the answers. Okay, I'm going to share a picture. Let me share a picture so that you may have them. Okay. Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Okay. In the chat, I'm going to share. Okay. So you have the question in the chat. The information is all in the chat. I share. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. 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 Could you please heal me here? Sure. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? Could you help me? Help me here? The pronunciation is could you? 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 Okay. Could you, could you, could you, Okay, Don Daniel and Edgar. Okay, could you please help me here? Gladly. Could you come tomorrow? Sure, no problem. Could you tell me the price? 
Of course, we sixty-five dollars. Could you show me a different model? Of course, please come with me. Could you tell me how I can apply for credit? Gladly. Could, could I pay by credit card? Sure, no problem. Could you please explain this to me? Of course. ¿Qué iba a hacer conmigo? Yo. Gaby, okay. the, the picture that has the answers is in the chat. Okay. I so, say in the, in, the, in the group. Aha, you can open that one to practice. So you have the question and the answer. Right? Uh, Gaby, ¿puedo empezar ya? Yes, yes, Ali. Okay. Could you please help me here? Sure. What can I do for you? Could you give me some information about the TV, please? Gladly. Gladly. Could you come tomorrow? Sure. Sure. No problem. Could you tell me the price? Uh, of course, it's sixty-five dollar. Could you show me a different model? Of course, please come with me. Could you tell me how I can apply, apply. for credit? Apply. For credit. Mm -hmm. Apply. Apply. Apply, Apply for credit. Okay, Apply Thank for you. credit. You're welcome. Could Maybe. you tell me how can I apply for credit? Sure, no problem. Could I pay by credit card? Sure, no problem. Could you please explain this to me? Of course, please. Could you tell me about the warranty? Sure, it's last a year. Can I ask you a few questions about the product? Sure, please go ahead. Please go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to a question, uh, uh, Joseph. Jose. Joseph, I'm going to question uh, Joseph. Which Joseph? Oh, Jose. <laughs> which, which Jose? <laughs> which Jose, don't you mean? Okay. Which Jose? <laughs> uh -huh. okay. Jose? Which Jose? Don Jose. Jose, Jose, Jose. Don eh, I'm going to question. To question. Okay. Voy a preguntar a Don Jose. And who is, who is Don Jose? <laughs> I'm looking in the group, but I don't find Don Jose in the group. Ask Don Jose. Maybe. I cannot see Don Jose, but you can see Don Jose. <laughs> okay. Ask him. Mm -hmm. uh, you ready, Jose? Maybe. Hello. In the group, there is no Jose. We have Blanca Santos, Gabriela Ramirez, Gladys Rubid Nieto, Adán Antonio Ramirez, and uh, Gisela. Then, then Adán. Ah, then Adán. Uh -huh. 
Hello. Question, Adam. Okay. Uh, could you please help me there? Help me could here. you please help me here? No, no, no. Yeah. I have a question. You, you answers. <laughs> could you please help, help me? What can? Help me here. <laughs> Uh -huh. Sure. What can I do for for you? Okay. Could you hear me? Could you give me some information about TV, please? Gladly. Uh, could you come tomorrow? Sure. No problem. Could you tell me the tell me the price? Oh, course. It, it, it's a uh, $75. Could you show me a different models? Oh, of course, please come with me. Could you tell me how, how I can apply for credit? Gladly. Could you pay could you pay by credit card? Sure, no problem. Could you please explain? This to me. Oh, of course, gladly. About the pros. Sure, please go ahead. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Todos preguntamos ya, ¿verdad? Okay, sure. let's, let's go to the main group then. Nice. Okay. Okay, teacher. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Nice, nice. Good Nine people are out. Okay, let's see, we're going to practice. I guess everybody's out. We're going to practice. How much is this watch? 
it's $200. How much is this bag? It's $45. How much is that book? It's $20. How much is that bicycle? It's $150. How much are these headphones? They are $50. How much are these wallets? They are $25 each. How much are those video games? They are $80 each. How much are those binoculars? They are $150. Okay. And so we practice this information. Teacher, in this case, what is the meaning each? Each? Yes. Each. Each of the fingers. One by one. Each. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, when you are selling pen, pencils, you say, you look, they see the pencils. How much are the pencils? One dollar. And they take all of them. No, 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 no. One dollar each means one pencil is one dollar. So you have all of the pencils, like ten dollars, <laughs> right? So okay, one dollar each. One dollar, one dollar, one dollar, one dollar, one dollar, five dollars. Yes? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Let's go to the groups and let's practice. Groups are open. Please join my dear ones. Edgar Reyes is in group one. Mario Cristobal Quintanilla is in group two. And group three is complete. That book? It's $20. How much is that bicycle? It's $150. How much are these headphones? They're fifty dollars. How much these wallets? They're uh, twenty five dollars each. How much are those video games? They're uh, eighteen dollars each. How much are those binoculars? They are one hundred fifty dollar. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Bicycle. Uh, one hundred fifty dollars. Okay. Uh, now you begin. Okay. This had fun. There. Uh, Sixty dollars. How much are these wallets? There's a twenty-five dollar each. How much are those video games? 
there is a eighty dollar each. How much are those binoculars? There is a one hundred and fifty dollars. Thank you. Okay. Let's make. I only question, 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 and, and don't buy nothing. <laughs> How much is this watch? Mm. I I practice with two hundred dollars. How with much you? Uh, this bag? It's forty-five dollars. How much is that book? Um, it's twenty dollars. And how much is uh, that bicycle? It's uh, $150. How much are these headphones? They're $50. How much are these wallets? They're $25 each. How much are those video games? There's um, eight, eight dollars each. And how much are those binoculars? There's one hundred fifty dollars. Thank you, Gladys. Okay, thank you. Blanca, you ready? Yes, and you're ready. Okay, you are questioning me or the answer? Your um, response. How much? Is this wash? It's two hundred dollars. How much is the bag? Forty five dollars. It's forty five dollars. How much is the book? It's twenty dollars. How much is the bicycle? It's one hundred fifty dollars. How much are these headphones? They're fifty dollars. How much are those wallets? They're twenty-five dollar each. How much are these video games? They're eighty dollars each. How much? Are the sabinicular? They're one hundred fifty dollars. Thank you. Thank you. Teacher, I don't hear you because you can you can use the the mute. Finish. Thank you. Yes, I have my mic mute. Hey. hey, my dear Angelitos, it's time for <laughs> it's time for attendance. Time for attendance. Adan Antonio Ramirez. 
Adán Antonio Ramírez. Present teacher. Excelente. Blanca del Carmen Santos. Present teacher, sorry, but uh, be late into the class. Don't worry. It's okay. Thank you. Carlos Amilcar Campos. Present teacher. Nice. Cecilia Maribel Alemán. Daniel Enrique Sifontes. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Edgar Edilson Reyes. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Edwin Alexis Pérez. Edwin Alfredo Alcón. Present teacher. Good. Very good. Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Gabriela Yamilev Ramirez. Present teacher. Nice. Very good. Gisela Guadalupe Martinez. Present teacher. Nice. Very good. Gladys Rubidia Nieto. Present teacher. Excellent. Very good. Nice. Jonathan Stanles Perez. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Jose Daniel Cermeño. José Ernesto Alemán. Andy Natalia Sánchez. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Mario Germán González. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Miguel Ángel Cortés. Noé Aníbal González. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Present, teacher. Excellent. Nice. Teacher, teacher you play. Because I didn't respond. Don't worry. It's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Sergio Adolfo Hernández. Okay. Yes, and teacher. Yes, you're welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for attending tonight. Uh, we have uh, Ed, Edwin Alexis Perez. Edwin Alexis Perez. Okay. So the other people, thank you very much for attending. I'll see you tonight. Tonight. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you for Good your night. time. See You're you. welcome. Okay. Thank you for coming. Good night. Okay, let's continue then. The person to stay tonight couldn't stay. So let's do it together. Practice the following conversation. Excuse me, lady. Yes. Can you tell me how much the mangoes are? They are three for one dollar. That's very expensive. The other lady gives me five. Maybe, but these are very sweet and ready to eat. Those are sour and very small. How do you know that what lady I'm talking about? I don't, but I suppose it's that it's that one over there. True, that's the lady. Are you going to buy the mangoes? Yes, ma'am. Please give me two dollars. Here you are. Thank you for buying from me. You won't be disappointed. I hope not. Bye. Again, excuse me, lady. Yes? Can you tell me how much the mangoes are? They are $3, three for one dollar. That's very expensive. The other lady gives me five. Maybe, but the these are very sweet and ready to eat. Those are sour and very small. How do you know what lady I'm talking about? I don't, but I suppose it's that one over there. True, 
that's the lady. Are you going to buy the mangoes? Yes, ma'am. Please give me two dollars. Here you are. Thank you for buying from me. You won't be disappointed. I hope not. Bye. Now, the difficult part, the one that most people, well, they say like, we need to come back to this. Hey, complete the questions we can and could. Can you give me a hand with this box? It's very heavy. Sure, no problem. Would you give me directions? to the nearest bank, please. Gladly. Go to that corner. Turn right at that corner. Then go straight ahead. It's on the corner. Gladly. Could you give me directions to the nearest bank, please? Gladly. Turn right at that corner, then go straight ahead. It's on the next corner. Can you show me that picture? Can you show me that picture? Sorry. but I haven't finished yet. Sorry, but I haven't finished it yet. Could you get me? Want some water? Can you get me a glass of water, please? Go oh, get them yourself. The glasses are on that in that couple.
Could you get me a glass of water, please? Go get them yourself. The glasses are in that cupboard. Excuse me, how much are those short? Which ones? The blue ones or the khaki ones? The blue ones, they are $18. And the khaki ones, they're $20. I'll take the khaki ones. All right, that will be $20. Here you are. Thanks. You're welcome. Excuse me, how much is that dress? Which one? The beige or the red one? The beige. The beige one. It's $65. And the red one? It's $80. Mm. I'll take the beige one. All right. That will be $65. Here you are. Thank you. You're welcome. How much is that belt? Which one, the black one or the brown? The black one. Oh, it's uh, $25. And the brown one, it's $35. Okay, I'll take the black one. All right, that will be $25. Here you are. Thanks. You're welcome. Excuse me, how much are these socks? Which ones, the blue ones or the black ones? The blue ones, they are $3. And the black ones, they are $4. Okay, I'll take the black ones. All right, that will be $4. Here you are. Thanks, you're welcome. Thank you for attending tonight and see you tomorrow.